guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to update the BIOS on your Gigabyte Aorus motherboard. Now, if you're not exactly sure what a BIOS is, that is the basic input and output system. It is responsible for loading basic computer hardware and booting of the operating system. So it contains a lot of various instructions for loading hardware. It also conducts a test which aids in verifying that the computer meets all of the basic requirements for booting. Now, while updating your BIOS or flashing your BIOS can be a little bit stressful because if anything goes wrong, if you do not do it correctly, you can also brick your motherboard if you follow these steps exactly you're not going to have any problems everything will go smooth and your computer will be back up and running in no time the reason why it's necessary is that when your motherboard ships when you go to the store you pick it up and you buy it it may have a very old BIOS currently on the motherboard. So when you get it home and you get your system built, one of the first things that you wanna do at least once is go ahead and update the BIOS. Now, the only thing you're really gonna need is a flash drive and an internet connection so that you can download the file. And then what we will do is reboot into the BIOS, basically use that file that is on the flash drive to update the BIOS. It'll take a few minutes and then the computer will shut down and reboot again. Once you flash or update your BIOS, a lot of your settings will you know, go back to default. So if you have any particular settings, you know, in place, like say overclocking or particular boot drives, all of that's gonna get wiped clean. So just make sure you either make note of those settings or that you back them up so that you can reload them after the update is complete. To get started, go ahead and pop in your flash drive and a free USB port, and then head on over to Google and do a Google search for your motherboard. Now for this tutorial, we're gonna be looking for the Gigabyte B550 Aorus Master Motherboard so that we can download the latest BIOS file for that specific motherboard. Now, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're searching for your specific board as you wanna make sure you get the BIOS for your motherboard and not exactly the, you know, the file that I'm using for this video. So just make sure you're searching for your specific motherboard. Once you locate the website, you should be able to look around and see that there is a drop down menu for Windows operating system. So you can choose Windows 10 or Windows 11. You should also see a tab that says BIOS. Now when you click on that, it's gonna bring down all of the different versions or latest versions of the BIOS. So you wanna check the date make sure you get the right one. So it's usually at the top of the list. Now the file will download as a zip file, so you're gonna to have to extract it. Once the download completes, extract the file and then copy and paste it or drag and drop it over to your flash drive. I named my flash drive Gigabyte so that you can see where I'm dragging the file to. Verify that the file is on your flash drive and then reboot your PC. While the computer is rebooting, you're gonna constantly tap the delete key so that you can access the BIOS. Once you are in the BIOS, you're gonna scroll down to the bottom right or somewhere in that area, you should see F8 or Quick Flash, Q Flash. So you're gonna go ahead and select that. A menu will appear where you can select your flash drive and the file you want to use for the update. So in this particular update, we're using the file 15E for the latest BIOS version. You go ahead and click that, make sure that you have both files selected. Once you have the correct file selected, you're gonna hit the arrow to the right. It's gonna ask you if you want to start the BIOS update. You go ahead and click yes. It will verify the file and then the BIOS update will begin. From here, you can see that you're going from BIOS version 14D. Now yours may be different, but in this case, mine's 14D and we're gonna be updating to 15E. If everything looks correct, you can go over and click start the BIOS update. Now this is where the BIOS update is actually gonna begin. So this is gonna take a few minutes. Do not restart your computer. Do not turn it off. Let it finish. It will reboot on its own. Now that the update is finished, I went ahead and rebooted back into the BIOS so that you can see here we have it, the latest BIOS version, which in this case is 15E. So hopefully you got your BIOS up to date, everything's good. But if you did have any struggles, if you got stuck anywhere, please go ahead, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer those questions. Thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you all next time.